Hello guys. What's up? I'm tired. Uh, this uh, video is going to be about uh, myself. Uh, what's going on with me? Uh, one night before I went to work, that's, this is the way it started off. Uh, I sort of got a uh, smoker's cough, like all of us smokers normally do. And uh, we sort of, me and, me and my wife, Sandy, uh, we were in the kitchen cooking. And uh, I coughed out loud. And right here, this, this is my left side of my chest. Uh, I just felt something really sharp pain right there. What nothing, what nothing. Didn't think that about it. It went away. And then <coughs> the next morning, <coughs> I went to work. And, uh, or I got out, of the, I was taking a shower and I got out to try off. And lo and behold, my front ribs snapped. So I went to the emergency room. They put me on a seat. Uh, they put me on, uh, I mean, they couldn't do nothing for my ribs. So the doctor put me on light duty for a week at work. So I went to light duty for a week. Um, got a little bit better. And then I was going back to work that following week. And um, went back to work at regular duty uh, one day. And then the following day, I didn't, I didn't go back. Because uh, I sort of uh, hurt my ribs again. The back part of my ribs snapped. So I'm like, oh, God, I'm just falling apart. So I went back. They took an x-ray. And, uh, yeah, you cracked a few ribs, Mr. Curtin Doll. And uh, lo and behold, I put myself on light duty again and uh, went back to work on light duty. Uh, the pain went away. So I asked the doctor if he could give me a week off so I could heal. Uh, see if I could just heal. Instead of putting me back on light duty, just let me stay home. And, uh, and, and grant you, I'm on a letter of leave now. So... Uh, in other words, that means that I can't lay out and, and, unless I have a, a legit excuse for all you people that work for the military. Uh, uh, basically, my wife went to work that day and she came home. I was unresponsive, laying on the bed. I didn't respond to her. Uh, I was like, uh, lethargic. Uh, I was mumbling oh, like that. And then I noticed that the ambulance people were there. And I woke up out of like, like that. You know, I didn't know where the hell I was. Then before you know it, I'm off to the damn hospital and uh, went to the emergency room. And uh, they put me on a CPAP machine, and uh, and uh, prepped me for whatever they was going to do um, for IVs and everything like that. Um, yeah, it was pretty scary. Pretty, pretty scary. But it ended up that I was in the hospital, the Kaiser Hospital, for um, uh, from March 28th to, I think, almost April. April the 7th. 
And then I moved to a rehab place from April 7th to April 27th. I think that's what it was. And then I came home. And they was going to put me on a, um, they put me on a, 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 a an air tank where it goes around my nose. But apparently my nose is stopped up and I can't get air through my nose. And apparently I blew a 93 on the oxygen sensor yesterday, so I can't breathe uh, without going under 90. So I, I don't have to use it, but I would like to use it. Um, and then on top of that, I got uh, my legs are sort of sore on top of that, so it's hard to walk. I'm trying to exercise that and get it back in shape. Um, but I uh, thought I'd give you guys an update on what's going on with me. Uh, keeping it real. You know that. Uh, all you haters. I don't care anymore. Uh, now that I'm back, BGS will no longer be. I will no longer deal with BGS grading cards. Apparently, they fucked up and went too high on their prices, on their cards. I don't know what's going on with them. But I, I can't get my Argonaut specials no more like I used to. So, so that's the way they want to be. That's the way they want to be. <clears throat> so I guess I'll just do my PSA now. But um, I've already did a video on my cards that I bought while I was in there. But there was a lot of CNAs. A lot of CNAs that treated me really well. Um, uh, one actually one actually got real close to me. Uh, called me your, uh, uh, can I adopt you as a step a grand a step grandpa or something like that? She every every night she goes uh, goes home. She says she says, Pop, I love you. <laughs> I'm like, God, she's only like twenty three years old, but she's this little black uh, African rare kid. Uh, but she's really cute, really nice. But she was always nice to me. Uh, there was a couple of girls in there that were really nice. But, uh, but, uh, but if I can tell you guys something, for, God, for you guys who smoke, you better get the fuck off of cigarettes because they're going to ruin your life. That, that ain't no joke. You know, most of, most of my problem was sodas. I drank sodas out the ass. And I've only been stopped drinking sodas for a month. I mean, I still drank sodas while I was in the rehab. But since I came home, all I drink is tea, water, and uh, maybe a, a diet Sprite every, maybe once a week. Cause I don't like diet sprite. I don't like diet anything. But uh, usually I get the hanker for something that was some fizz in it. But uh, and I haven't had a cigarette since uh, March uh, March twenty eighth. So I think it's been March. Yeah, March 28th, so the Thursday. But anyway, uh, for you guys who sub to me on uh, for January subs, uh, I do have your cards. Uh, just give me some time, be patient, because I'm doing this little a little at a time. I mean, maybe one a day of that, one or two. A day of that. Uh, just be patient, because <clears throat> I got sort of I got backlog over here, and I got some laying on my table right here. So, 
Right now, the only person that's paid me for their cards to get shipped back is Ronnie Hernandez. And uh, he's, uh, I think it's RD Cards. RD Cards. So, got his ready. Uh, and then, uh, on top of that, I didn't get paid for most of my time in the hospital. So I had to apply for uh, uh, a lot of governmental help to so I could keep making a paycheck. So I had to dip into my uh, dip into the funds a little bit on the grading fees to pay some bills. So thought I'd let you guys know that. I know I shouldn't have done it, but I didn't want my lights to get cut off or my mortgage to go out. So, a couple of people understand. I've told them. So, if you happen to listen to this, I'll. That's why. Uh, but anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for all the prayers. Keep praying for me. And uh, be good to one another. And God damn it, quit smoking. Bad for you.